Good morning, kindergarten. I wanted to look at some of the poetry today. Um, so I chose the last one in the packet. I'm not sure if you're kind of jumping around. We said you only needed to pick four for your, um, your reading this week. There are more than four. If you want to do all of them, great. So we're going to just do some echo reading today, and then I'm going to show you the one other piece of writing that's not in your packet that we would like you to do in your notebook, okay? So I'm going to read first, and then you are going to read. This poem has the two sight words, I can, on every line. So that helps us, okay? And this poem is about things that you can find in the spring and the summer. So make sure you're using your picture clues to help you if you get to a word that you might not know. Okay, so my turn. I can find your turn. Great, my turn. I can find a butterfly. Your turn. Let's find the butterfly down below. <laughs> there it is. Oh, this will be so much fun to color when we're done reading. Okay, my turn, next line. I can find a bee. Your turn. Good. Where's the bee? There it is. Oh, you know what? I found another little butterfly. There's two, and then the bee. My turn. I can find a ladybug. <clears throat> Where is it? Ooh, that's a big ladybug. My turn. Hiding from me. Your turn. Very good. So what do you think the boy and the girl are doing in this poem? Yeah, they're looking for different bugs to catch. And um, butterflies, bees, ladybugs. So we're going to read one more time and we're going to see if we can find the rhyming words. We're not going to stop and look at the picture this time. I can find. Good, my turn. I can find a butterfly. I can find a bee. Your turn. My turn. I can find a ladybug. Hiding from me. Good job. What two words did you hear that rhyme at the end of the lines? Oh, I heard it. Somebody knew really fast. Yeah, be me. Great job. So what I want you to do is circle those today. Or underline whatever you want. I might just underline. Be me. Okay, so in poetry, not every line has to rhyme. It could be every other line. So butterfly and bee don't rhyme. Bee and ladybug don't rhyme. But bee and me rhyme. Okay, so the other part of writing that we wanted you to do this week that's not part of your packet is to write a poem about spring or summer or something that you see in the spring or summer. And it does not have to be long. This one is only four lines long, okay? So you have your notebook at home, and I want you just to write it in there, and then I want you to draw a picture that makes sense with it. So I do not have my notebook by me, but I do have my whiteboard. And Cameron must have taken my eraser because I don't have that either. <laughs> my things keep disappearing with him. So let me... Wipe this off real quick. And I was thinking that something that I love about spring um, are the flowers. Yesterday I actually planted some flowers um, in my pots to get them ready for spring and summer. And hopefully some butterflies will come around. Um, so I thought I would do my poem about flowers. And we know flowers can be all different colors. So I thought that that might be kind of fun to do. And I know some words that rhyme with different color words. So all poems need a title. And I'm going to write mine about flowers. Now I could, t I could call it spring flowers. I could call it 
pretty flowers. I could say colorful flowers. It's up to you. I just want my title to be flowers. So we know, like I said before, that flowers can be lots of different colors. So I'm going to choose just two colors um, that I know how to spell. They're not very big words. And I'm thinking of one of the colors that rhymes with another word that I think I can finish my poem with. So I might start with flowers are pink. And then I thought I could say flowers are blue. Mm, do you think you might know what word I'm rhyming with blue? Flowers are pink. Flowers are blue. I can pick flowers. Just for what? You. Or I could say, I like to pick flowers just for you. It's your poem, whatever you want to do. So I have blue and you that rhyme. Okay? Be creative. You could write your poem about a butterfly. You could write your poem about flowers like I did. You could write your poem about rain or sun or swimming. We love to swim in the spring and summer. Um, camping. There's all kinds of things, okay? And you just have to write one simple poem and then you're going to draw a picture to go with it. Okay guys, have fun. I can't wait to read these.